According to the U.S. Census, there are currently around 850,000 San Diego County residents living in economic hardship. Consider, for example, a single mom who needs a stroller for her child, a family that lost everything due to a tragic event, or an unemployed person who needs a good suit for a job interview, or even a homeless person without shoes or jacket. My name is Melissa Alvarez and I'm the Executive Director of SHARE Ministry. SHARE Ministry is a ministry in which men, women, children's clothing is given out um, and as well as furniture. And what we do is we reach out to the community and share the gospel through giving of um, free items. Um, because God gave His love for us for free, we definitely want to show them by knowing how much we care. It seems that when you give people things for free, they wonder why, just like we wonder why God gives His love to us for free. The reason why we started SHARE was um, my husband and I had a heart to give. Um, our heart was to let people know that somebody loves and cares about them, um, to share the gospel, to love on them the way Jesus loves us. We picked Mission Valley because it was centrally located. Um, there's trolley stops, uh, bus stops, um, things that people are, a lot of times when you're in economic need, you don't have transportation. Uh, we wanted to make sure that everybody would have access to where we are. On Tuesday night is our outreach night, and that's the night that we have our guests. We call them our guest of honor. Um, and what we do is we start off in prayer. There's about 100 to 150 people every Tuesday night. Uh, they wait for the doors to open at 5 p.m. We check them in and um, we give them a 13 gallon bag and they're able to come in and get as much um, clothing as they need. They're able to get two um, household goods and, um, and after that, then when, upon them leaving, then we just ask them if they need any prayer, how's it going today, um, is there anything that they're you know, wanting to talk about. Just um, trying to connect with them and um, letting them know it's not really just about these free things, but that we really truly care about them. Four different um, programs in which we do right now at SHARE is uh, we have our furniture department and what they do is they collect donations and give them out to the community. The, the delivery, the pickup, everything is free. There is no charge. SHARE does, also does a prom boutique where we give out dresses to um, girls that are going to their senior prom as well as accessories and shoes. Um, and they come and they're able to pick one dress. They, we have dressing rooms, mirrors for them to see. Choice for Joy is an annual event and we're involved with that. What we do is we have a clothing distribution area. We have clothes, we have toys, um, they have um, food, a kid zone, and just a huge, huge outreach. And last year there was 8,000 8, people who came um, to the event and 1,400 people were able to go through the clothing line. What we do at the job fair is we have a rack set up with um, job fair attire, suits, ties for men, um, shoes, um, and for women, you know, business suits, things like that. And they can come up and uh, there's a job fair um, that's going on right at that same time. And a lot of times um, these are people who, you know, don't have the economic ability in order to buy themselves something nice for a job interview. So they'll come up to us get ready for the job fair, put on their tie, their suit, their slacks, the ladies, their you know dress up attire, and go downstairs and um, interview for jobs. SHARE provides um, other ministries opportunities as well. Um, we are um, partnered up with the homeless ministry, um, human trafficking, um, prison, as well as nonprofit organizations. And they're able to volunteer here and, um, and get their hours. Um, they're able to um, come here and just get the, the needs met that they may need at the time. So SHARE's need is financial contribution. Uh, financial is the hardest thing in order to keep anything sustained and keep it going and running. If you're able to um, come and help soar or give donations or set up a launch pad, set up something that we're able to collect the donations, great and if you don't have the time for that any financial contribution that you can give to us is greatly appreciated that's the more we're able to reach out the more we're able to minister that we're able to just um, spread the gospel effectively 
My vision is to be able to partner up with churches within the community, um, within San Diego, beyond San Diego, wherever God chooses it to be. Have share um, facilities, um, more in the inner city, uh, where the real need is so that we're able to get a big building in the inner city um, and partner up with different churches, different organizations so that needs can be met and um, that we're able to get more volunteers so that volunteers can come and pray with people and we're not limited on that. Um, we have right now 100 to 150 people waiting in line and if we can have 100 to 150 people helping them, taking them through the building, um, talking to them, ministering to them, showing God's love, showing the light that He's given us. Um, it, that's, that's my vision, is to just be able to um, do this on a bigger scale.